What's up everybody, Nox here, hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to Monster Hunter Stories 2. A lot of us are playing the demo right now. If you're looking for some more things to do until the full game, I got you covered. Here are 5 things to prepare you perfectly for Stories 2, or to just kill some time in a productive way until then. Keep in mind, all of our demo progress will carry over into the full game. Let's jump right in. We'll start with a big one, bottle caps. Quite early on, we get introduced to Meeling's Merchant at the harbor. Here we can trade our bottle caps for a bunch of really cool things. How you spend them is all up to you, but I highly recommend getting the stable blueprint as soon as possible. Getting the blueprint will allow us to keep 24 monsters instead of the standard 12, which is much better. You might have noticed I had 43 bottle caps. That's the max amount we can get in the demo right now. To get bottle caps, we want to explore Everdens. These are always in a set location. Unlike regular monster dens, these have a more square appearance. We can get a total of 40 bottle caps by exploring, plus an extra 3 from a subquest. Make sure to bring a Velocidrome and a Yankutku when you're out exploring. You'll need them. If you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up, it really helps out the channel. Next, we have farming rare monster dens. There are multiple reasons for doing this. For one, farming rare dens will help us get monsters with good stats more easily. But firstly, how do we find rare dens quickly? For this, we're going to be making use of the Catavan stand. We're going to open up our map, press X to select the Catavan stand, choose North Comuna Cape, and select the opposite daytime to the one we currently have. We're doing this because a change in daytime will reroll monster dens, giving us a new shot at finding rare ones quickly. We can actually see pretty far from up here. We'll take a moment and have a quick look around the map. If we find one right away, awesome. If not, we change daytime and try again. There we go, we'll take this one right here. Alright, we're in the den and reached the nest, so let's grab an egg. As of now, there are three tiers we can get. The common eggs, which have no glow when we pick them up. The uncommon eggs, which have a yellow glow. And the rare eggs, which have a rainbow glow. These are the ones we want to prioritize. They have the best chances for good stats, and the only chance at the monster having the rainbow gene, which we definitely want. Let me know if you guys want an in-depth egg farming guide, and I'll make one. In addition to that, a lot of rare monster dance have chests with high value items like charms, nutriments, and even weapons sometimes. We also find rare gathering spots, which are a great source for high value selling items and talismans. Next, we have leveling up the prayer pot. Raising its level will further increase all boosts we get from it. We level this up by simply offering charms as prayer. But leveling up will require a lot of them. Just getting to level 10 will require 45 charms. As far as I know, level 20 is the max for now. Now how do we get all those charms? We're already getting a few charms from the rare den farming, but there's a way to grab a lot more of those pretty quickly. We're gonna head over to the quest board and pick up the subquest Riders Challenge. Then we're gonna head to North Comuna Cape in the afternoon. After arriving, we turn to our left and head to the silver looking monster den. Once we're inside, we're going to hunt down and open all the chests we can get to. Subquest dens will always have multiple chests, which makes them the most reliable way to farm charms. Once we've opened every chest we could get to, we open the map and travel back to North Comuna Cape, selecting Afternoon again. Since we didn't complete the quest, the den is still there. And when we enter it now, everything inside will refresh and reroll. This allows us to keep treasure hunting for charms at a quick pace. Moving on, money. The easiest way to make some extra cash is by completing or turning in subquests that can be repeated. The real money makers here are Roly Poly Problems, Slaying 6 Conchu, and Bothersome Blue Shadows, Slaying 6 Velocipray. These two can be completed super quickly, turned in for the cash, and repeated. If your character is level 10 or higher, you can slay a group of these minions instantly by using the quick finish option. Co-op call Puke Puke is really nice as well. If you break his parts and sell everything you get, you can get up to 3000 zenny out of it. There are also a bunch of delivery ones like commodities and stones. Keep an eye on these as they are basically free money. Aside from that, we can also sell trade-in items that we got from a rare monster den farming. These are worth quite a big chunk of money. You can sell talismans and weapons you find as well if you have no use for them. Don't forget that you can offer a selling charm at the prayer pot to get some extra money when you sell your stuff. What are you guys currently doing until the full game? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Yokai Realm. Share the information with our fellow riders and hunters, and leave any form of feedback you have for me in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.